Hello, Sebastian. Hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for taking the time for those. Thank you for who, having me. Who don't know you yet. Introduce yourself just briefly. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Sebastian. I'm a conductor. And actually, I was chief conductor of the orchestra we have a concert with tonight uh, from 2002 to 2013. So I know this group very well and I'm very happy to come back. Yeah, I'm happy that we will be performing the Haydn concerto tonight. We haven't had so much rehearsal time. So That's we right. had one proper rehearsal and just a little uh, warm up rehearsal. How is it for you? Um, does that change with experience? How much rehearsal time you need? Or is it always important actually to, to rehearse? Well, to be honest, sometimes it's even more challenging and and can be more exciting to have less rehearsals i mean you know the piece very well obviously <laughs> uh, i know the piece i've done it with this orchestra the orchestra has played it several times so i think it can be even fun to do it with a little bit of improvisation is too much but there's a lot of positive tension let's put it this way you have been working with this orchestra for many years and now you're coming back. How is it for you? Do you like feel like coming home or is it a completely new situation because you feel they have worked with different people in the meanwhile? I mean, for me, it's like if I come back to the piano here, I have known it uh, for some years. Uh, it's always like I am used to it already. So you mean this instrument? This Especially instrument, this for instrument. example, yeah. I, or whatever instrument. Yeah. I come back and I, I still remember how it was to play on this. Is mm -hmm. it the same when you work with real people? That's a very interesting question because I think the orchestra changed in the meantime but I did change as well but after after a couple of minutes you come back to some old patterns you know the people there are only uh, slight changes in the in the musicians of the of the orchestra so a lot of people are really the same like uh, when I was leaving the orchestra and it's very interesting I was uh, a chief conductor at a big opera house uh, for eight years and the orchestra reacts in a totally different way so it's it's very it's a nice remembrance to come back to this orchestra and see how delicate and how on the point they they react that's yeah. really fun and I have a, a last question I'm thrilled by your ability to really work effectively in the rehearsals you really pinpoint the problems and you're also a professor for conducting right mm -hmm. so how has changed working as a conductor um, after you've started also teaching conducting because mm -hmm. i've realized myself if i start teaching you know other pianists mm -hmm. that my practice becomes much better because yeah. i really see the problems faster how is that as a conductor yeah I think it's the same thing. It's it's a big secret, or maybe it's not a secret anymore, between teachers that you can benefit as a teacher nearly as much as the student can benefit. Because normally you focus on the things that are important to you, and sometimes you also focus on the things you might have problems with or mm -hmm. which challenges you. And so I think it's it's always a big benefit for, for teachers to, to teach, not only for the student. Great, then I'm looking forward to yeah, tonight. Yeah, me too. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, where can they find you if the viewers they want to see your I music? I have a website which listen? is actually not really updated, but I will take care of it in the next week. It's uh, sebastiantivinkel.de. Okay, we'll put it there in the okay. description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we see each other in the next video. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs>